respected Swamiji, the scholars on the dais and in front of me. This is indeed a great opportunity for me to share my thoughts on a very important issue, important point. Rama in Balamiki Ramayana and in Tulsi Dasar's Ram Charitmanas. This topic is very fascinating and Swamiji has given me this topic to present a talk on this, in this gathering during this seminar. So, <clears throat> whatever I have learned, I have studied, accordingly I will be presenting some thoughts. However, this topic is so vast and uh, on this topic a big PhD thesis can be written. But given the time period, time slot is uh, very limited, I will be trying to do justice in brief on this topic. Actually, just before my presentation and before um, this keynote address, there was a talk, inaugural address, in which it was mentioned and also in keynote address it was also mentioned that the Ramayana is so vast, it is available in Thailand, Indonesia, Bali and uh, China, Myanmar, etc. And very famous book is available, 300 Ramayanas, in which it is said that there are around 300 Ramayanas. And it is true that there are so many Ramayanas and the stories are also different. The same story is not repeated everywhere. In one story, Ram becomes Jaina. In another story, the story goes in a different direction. In, this, in the Ramakathas, which are famous in Thailand, Myanmar, etc., the story goes in a different di direction. And sometimes that direction is not very much appreciable to us. But here, as we understand Ramayana, there is a word used in Sanskrit about Balamiki. It is said, Adi Kavi. He is the first poet. And sometimes a doubt arises, how could Valmiki be first poet? Because there are Vedas and those Vedas are perceived by the Rishis and those Rishis are also Kavis, those are also poets. So how Valmiki could be Adi Kavi, first Kavi, first poet? And the answer is given that there is a Vaidika and Laukika. There, there are two kinds of Sanskrit known, Vedic Sanskrit and Laukik Sanskrit. So, Vedic Rishis are there, but the first poet who wrote poetry in Sanskrit, in Laukik Sanskrit, that is Valmiki. So, we can see that the first story of Ram depicted in Valmiki Ramayana and uh, Ram Charitmanas written by Tulsi Das in around 16th century. And uh, this book Ram Charitmanas so famous that in Northeast, Northeast India, North India and uh, other parts of country people used to recite 
Ramacharit Manas every day. And nowadays also there are people who recite Ramacharit Manas every day. So Ramacharit Manas has become a very important text. So the point of discussion is this one. How the story of Rama depicted in Valmiki Ramayana and how is it depicted in Valmiki Ramacharita Manas? I find it somehow interesting. And I think that in Valmiki Ramayana, Rama is depicted as a human being, a great human being. Because the story, uh, story begins with a dialogue between Valmiki and Narada. And the first shlok says, Tapaswadhyaya niratam Tapasvi vagvirambaram Naradam paripaprachay Valmiki munipungavam Valmiki asked, the great says, Narad, who was engaged in tapasya and self-study. And the question is raised, Konnasmin sampratam loke gunavan kasche virevan dharmagyasche kratagyasche satyavakke dhidhavrataha O Narad, who is there in this world? Who knows the dharma? Who knows what is done to him? Kritagya. Who follows the truth? And not only this, there are so many questions there. He asks them, who is the virtuous? Who speaks the truth? Who knows the duties? Who is having a great character, good character? Who does good to all the creatures? Sarva Bhuta Hite Rataha Who is engaged in the well-being of all creatures? Not all human beings, but all creatures. Who has self-respect? Who has conquered anger? This is also a very great quality. Jitakrodha, Gurvan Kona Suyaka, who is not having jealous to anybody. Kasya Bibhati Devascha Jata Roshasya Sayyuga. And who is there? If he is angry, even the gods get frightened. And listening to these questions, these are actually, this is a question regarding the great human being and actually the questioning of Valmiki is coming in the search of a great human being who is having a good character, having great knowledge and here listening to these questions Narada responds Narada responds he says that actually you are asking so many qualities those are very rare but there is one person who is having all these qualities, all these characters. And from this statement, this Valmiki Ramayana begins. So you can see that the beginning of Valmiki Ramayana, from the point where there is a search for a person who knows, who is having a great moral character, who is 
having power who has conquered his inner self also and who is rakshita swasya dharmasya swajanasya cha rakshita who is actually making his own dharma following his own dharma and also making all other persons follow their own dharma who is actually saving all the creatures all the human beings his fellow citizens so this way valmiki ramayana begins the talk and thereafter listening to narada's answers valmiki thinks thereafter writes valmiki ramayana so going to this discussion we can understand very clearly that in valmiki ramayana the ideal is to find out an ideal person who is endowed with so many good qualities having virtues have bearing a great moral character so that is the way of seeing at ram in valmiki ramayana and let us see how tulsi das begins his ram charitmanas and here in the mangala acharana itself he says udbhav sthiti sanghara karinim kleshaharinim सीताम नतोहम राम वल्लभा सो नाउ ही प्रेज टू सीता राम वल्लभा द विलव्ड वाइफ ऑफ राम एंड व्हाट शी डज व्हाट आर हर क्वालिटीज उद्भव स्थिति संहार कारिणी सीता इज actually responsible for the creation of this world sustainment of this world and also destruction of this world so you can see that in ramacharitamanas sita becomes the power of ram सर्वश्रेयस्करी सीता नोहम राम वल्लभ एंड इन द सेकेंड मंगलाचरण विच इज फॉलोइंग दिस मंगलाचर मंगल श्लोक इट बिकम्स वेरी क्लियर वॉट तुलसीदास इज हैविंग इन हिज माइंड ही सेज यन्माया वशवर्त विश्वमखिल ब्रह्मादिदेवासुरा यत्सत्वादमृषव भाति सकल रज्जौ यथाभ्रम यदप्लवेक ही भवा बोधे स्थितिर्षावता वंदेहम तमशेष कारण पदम राख्यमीशं हरि अहम तम अशेष कारण परम राख्यम ईशं हरि वंदे आई गो टू द राम who is the lord who is hari who is the ultimate cause ashesh karan param and how he is doing it how he is creating this universe this world and how it is happening he says tulsi das यन्माया वशवर्ती विश्वमखिल द होल वर्ल्ड इज कंट्रोल्ड बाई हिज पावर माया 
under his maya and not only the human beings are simple creatures even brahmaadi deva sura even the gods are also controlled by his power maya under his control of maya and yat satvat due to his own power that is maya amrishaiva bhati sakalam this whole world appears to be real how it appears to be real as the snakes appears to be real when a person is confusing a piece of rope with a snake rajjo yatha hai brahma अगेन ही सेइंग यत पाद प्लव एकमे वहि भवाम भोदे स्थिति शावताम हुई हुएवर इज विलिंग टू गो बियॉन्ड दिस ग्रेट ओशियन भवाम बोधे द ओशियन इज एक्चुअली दिस वर्ल्ड इज ए काइंड ऑफ ओशियन एंड इन ऑर्डर टू गो बियॉन्ड दिस वर्ल्ड there is only one ship that is rama's feet so that ram is prayed here so you can see there is a complete shift from one direction to another in valmiki ramayana ram is conceived as a great human being however there could be some questions because there is also story in valmiki ramayana when dasharatha is performing ashwamedh yagya putreshti yagya in order to get his sons there comes a story that devas went to lord vishnu and prayed to him to come down take avatar in order to get this world free from all the demons rakshasas so such type of story is already there in valmiki ramayana also so you cannot say that valmiki is not thinking of ram as god however there are some scholars who conceive it as a kind of interpolation whatever be the beginning of valmiki ramayana very clearly says that it is actually in search of a human being not of a god because valmiki has asked narada e etad icham me ham shrotum gyatum evam vidham naram i want to know such kind of a person such kind of a human being so when one is searching for a such kind of human being the answer if given that there is a god who is such type of it doesn't make a sense it will make sense only if the answer is provided in the same way and narad provides the answer in the same way and he says that yes there is a man there is a human being like that so you can see that in valmiki ramayana ram appears to be maryada purushottam purush there therefore this the term is there purushottam purushesh uttamah purushottam who is the best among the human beings why he is best because of his maryada maryada purushottam because he is following the maryada limits and also not following the limits but also making limits to be followed it should not be understood that rama is only saying to follow the limits he is 
only following the remits which were made he is following the rules which were made it is not the case ram is also making some rules which are to be followed for example we all know that that dasharath married three women kaushalya sumitra and kaikai and it was a common practice at that time to marry so many women a king was allowed to marry many women even shatapath brahmana and also some uh, shrauta sutras prescribe that if your a king is performing ashwamed yagya there is a need that the person must have more than one wives at least three wives like that but rama didn't do that he made a limit for the men that they should not marry more than one therefore there is a rule which is known as ek patni vrat so he followed this rule ek patni vrat marrying only one woman because a girl marries only one husband therefore in the same way a man is also bound to marry only one so this limit this maryada is made by ram so ram is not only following the norms which are made earlier but also he is setting the norms to be followed because he was a visionary person he was very open so in valmiki ramayana the story is well known to all all of us without going into the details only a few points i am willing to share so in ramacharitamanas when we turn to we can see that how valmiki how tulsidas started his uh, poetry and actually for him the whole story of rama is not a story of a man but it is a leela of god who appeared here for a great purpose to make this world free from free from uh, those uh, rakshasas to establish dharma and uh, in a better way you can say that to perform a leela for the betterment of human beings so that human beings can get liberated reciting those leelas reciting ram charitamanas reciting the name of god to so far ram far tulsi das ram becomes a god and ye such a god who is a personal god but where he started he started with not a personal god but he started with brahman because the example which is given here and uh, the persons who are acquainted with the philosophy of advaita vedanta can understand that this is actually the philosophy of advaita vedanta the same example is given because it is said that there is a brahman and uh, brahma brahman creates this world with his own power maya and this world is actually not real but appears to be real so the same story she has taken here and in the same way he has 
uh, explained. You can see Tulsidas says. जनक सुता जग जननी जान की अतिशय प्रिय करुणा निधान की यू कैन सी दैट ही सेइंग दैट जान की हिज वाइफ सीता इज एक्चुअली जग जननी मदर ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड बिकॉज दिस वर्ल्ड इज क्रिएटेड बाई माया बिकॉज द माया इज क्रिएटिंग दिस वर्ल्ड एंड माया इज द पावर ऑफ गॉड पावर ऑफ राम so actually this sita is actually mother of this world and this is also very clearly stated in advaita philosophy and here how tulsidas begins before this mangala charana he has prayed to lord shiva and parvati and then a very beautiful way he says bhavani shankarau vande shraddha vishwasa roopino yabhyam vina na pasyante shuddha siddha swantastha ishwaram i pray to lord goddess bhavani goddess parvati and lord shiva who are actually in the form of shraddha and vishwasa faith and belief great belief yabhyam bina because without having these two people are unable to see the lord the god who who is actually present in our own heart siddhah swantastham ishwaram if these two are there then we can see the god we we can realize the god which who is actually present in our own heart so this way and if you see where tulsidas has taken the idea there was another ramayana adhyatma ramayana the same way adhyatma ramayana and if you uh, कंपेयर द मंगलाचरण ऑफ अध्यात्म रामायण विद दैट ऑफ रामचरित मानस द ग्रेट सिमिलरिटी इज अवेलेबल देयर जस्ट सी विश्वोद्भव स्थित लया दिशु हेतु मेकम माया आश्रय विगत माय मचिंत्य मूर्ति आनंद सांद्रमल निज बोध रूपम सीतापति विदित तत्व महम नमा यू कैन सी the same kind of mangala charan is given uh, by tulsi das when he is saying udbhav sthit sanghara karani and it is said vishu udbhav sthit laya adishu hi tumi ko so he is taking actually he is very much influenced by adhyatma ramayana and in the same way he has formulated the story also what is the story in adhyatma ramayana adhyatma ramayana is actually a dialogue between parvati and shiva and parvati asks and lord shiva explains the story of ram so the same formulation same format is adapted by tulsidas in ram charitamanas but with a brilliant and a, a very innovative explanation and also with some modifications in gita there is a shloka which says agyas chashrad dadhanascha sanshayatma vinashyati the person who doesn't know agya and not this is not the fault that if someone doesn't know fault lies ahead ashraddha dhanas the person doesn't know but have no shraddha and then the person has is full of doubts sanshay atma and if there is a person like that the person is going to perish 
एंड टेकिंग दिस एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस श्लोक ऑफ वाल गीता वेरी ब्रिलियंट एक्सप्लेनेशन एंड स्टोरी इज फॉर्मुलेटेड इन रामचरित मानस वट हैपन्स द स्टोरी गोज इन दिस वे दैट वंस शिव विथ सती सती इन द फर्स्ट अर्लियर लाइफ ऑफ पार्वती राम वॉज मूविंग विथ सती एंड ही सीज राम इज गोइंग इन द फॉरेस्ट एंड एक्चुअली द टाइम इज दैट वेन रामायण हैज टेकन अवे सीता फ्रॉम द फॉरेस्ट एंड दिस दिस इज एक्चुअली very amazing point amazing point in the, this way that ram is brahman ram is god so why he is crying what is the purpose of crying in the forest he knows very well that sita is nowhere gone rama ravan has no ravan has not taken sita and this is the story in adhyatma ramayan and you can see in adhyatma ramayan sita was not taken away anyway by ravan and the same thing is available in tulsi rasa jaan charitam what happens because they are going to make a leela and once they have planned it beautifully ram told sita that this is the time to perform a leela Now you should go to the fire. तुम पावा का मह करो निवासा तब लगे करो निशाचर नासा. So you sit in fire for for some time. In so far I am killing the demons. And now it happens that Sita has gone with fire, and now there is a chaya Sita. There is an Uh, actually you can see uh, a sita which is made up made by maya maik maik sita was there made by maya so maya my sita is there and that sita was kidnapped by ram so actually there is no kidnapping of sita only a false kidnapping for example when there is a uh drama happening you see that in drama someone is killing another person but actually he is not killing someone is doing something but it is not happening at all so it is kind of leela so that is happening here ravan is taking away sita but that sita is not real one so sita is not kidnapped at all but ravan is killed so the story moves in this direction and here the same story was there available in vadhyatma ramayana and taking the story from adhyatma ramayana tulsidas has uh, taken this way because in valmiki ramayana there could be some points where there are questions because ram is very much behaving like a human being and actually it appears to me that ram is there as a person as a human being and he is doing it very beautifully with full of rigor with full of uh, uh, integrity and here the ram is taken to be an ideal person who is an ideal uh, king who is an ideal son who is an ideal husband and who is an ideal human being therefore he is called maryada purushottam he is not uh, going beyond the norms he is not molding the norms rather he is following however when he is thinking that these norms are not good 
ही इज मेकिंग देम वाल्मीकि सो वाल्मीकि रामायण आज राम इज समहाउ ह्यूमन बींग हाउ वेर ही सो बिग दैट इट इज अनबिलीवेबल टू कंस्यूम हिम एज अ ह्यूमन बींग देर फोर देर आर देर इज दिस स्टोरी इन वाल्मीकि रामायण ऑल्सो दैट विष्णु इज प्रेड टू अपीयर टू कम डाउन टू गेट दिस वर्ल्ड मेक दिस वर्ल्ड फ्री फ्रॉम ऑल द डेमस but in ramacharita manas it is completely ye leela of god so the all stories so there is no kidnapping and there is no agni pariksha there is no agni pariksha and there is no uh, after ram is made king thereafter sita is not going anywhere बट इन वाल्मीकि रामायण सीता इज लेफ्ट टू वाल्मीकि आश्रम दिस इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट टू नोट एंड नाउ आई डेज पीपल मेनी टाइम्स क्वेश्चन द कैरेक्टर क्वेश्चन द एक्शन ऑफ रामा वाई ही लेफ्ट सीता देर एंड एक्चुअली इफ यू स्टडी वाल्मीकि रामायण you will find that the character of ram in uttar ram in uttar kanda of ramayana is so brilliantly developed he is performing he has started he has conceived to perform uh, ashvamedha yagya ram by the all the prajas i uh, by all the uh, persons as uh, queen and his sons will be accepted as prince however sita refused to do that to do that to do that when it was asked only to verify only to say that because all other um, rishis had been given justification verification and at that time sita tells do no i will not stay with it it is not acceptable to me so you can see that in valmiki ramayana the story which is said that rama leaves sita actually this is not truth because rama keeps sita in valmiki's ashram and when the day when love and kush bear born the same day shatrughna was there in valmiki's ashram so the position ram as a king ram as a human being ram as a, an ideal person you can see in valmiki ramayan how ram is going to be depicted it is made very clear in the first sarga of valmiki ramayan and that first sarga is known as mool ramayan many people recite it every day so that mool ramayan is actually a gist of valmiki ramayan and in that mool ramayan the whole story of valmiki ramayana is explained and this is the story of rama as a human being as a king as a uh, who goes to the forest who fights with the all adversities who wins the war taking the help of the vanaras monkeys and others so this is a kind of a man what he can do if he is willing to 
and the this is also to note that whatever ram does in his whole character there is a uh, common trend that he never leaves the path of truth and never leaves the path of dharma there is a uh, many times in balmiki ramayana it is said ramo dvir na vibhashate ram never says twice that means whatever he has told earlier the same thing he has to repeat every time so his uh, he is always following the truth he is always following the dharma and establishing the dharma and in ramacharitamanasa you can see that in valmiki ramayana ram was there as a human being and tulsi das made him god formulated him transformed him as a, an avatar avatar where not only simple avatar but this is a kind of avatar where he is he has come to this world in order to make this world better in order to make this world free from those uh, rakshasas those uh, wrong doers and uh, making a path making this world for, um, an enjoyable world the world where everybody is following the path of dharma everybody is following the path of satya truth so that which is available there as ram rajya so the idea of ram rajya is also available in valmiki ramayana and also available in tulsi dasas ram charita manas so you can see that these two are explaining these two from two different directions so one point i had been telling you that taking the point of gita where he um uh, takes the point agyas cha shraddha dhanas cha sanshay atma vinashyati so when with sati um, uh, when sita was kidnapped and uh, uh, shiva and sati were going and they saw ram crying and seeing the ram crying ram shiva understood lord shiva understood that what is happening and uh, he prayed to he bowed down to him जय सच्चिदानंद जग पावन अस कही चले मनोजन सावन सो शिव गोज अवे फ्रॉम देअर प्रेइंग लॉर्ड राम बट सती वॉज कन्फ्यूज सती गॉट कन्फ्यूज दैट एवरीबडी गोज डाउन टू लॉर्ड शिव एंड ही इज प्रेइंग ही इज गोइंग डाउन टू शिव शिव वाई इज इट सो so there is a confusion there is a doubt and the doubt is not removed when shiva was telling her and she goes to examine ram and what sati does sati takes the form of sita sati takes the form of sita to misguide rama and to examine ram so you can see this is the what it told that अग्यश्चाश्रद्धानश्च संशयात्मा विनश्यति सो सती इज एक्चुअली अज्ञ नॉट नोइंग देन ही इज नॉट हैविंग श्रद्धा बिकॉज इफ यू आर हैविंग श्रद्धा यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू एग्जाम लेट एस टेक वन एग्जाम्पल वॉट एवर आवर पेरेंट्स टेल अस सिंपली वी टेक फॉर ग्रांटेड वी बिलीव दैट but only in so far we have shraddha we believe them when there is no shraddha if father is saying something if mother is saying something we don't believe and now we we go on examining so here sati goes examining because she is not having shraddha and then she is also shashya atma having he she is full of doubts so takes the form of sita and the story goes in that direction 
that because she took the form of Sita, uh, Shiva uh, couldn't accept her anymore. Because for um, Shiva, now Sati took the form of Sita and uh, because for Shiva, Ram is actually his own uh, God and uh, Sati is his wife. So actually there is Matri Bhava. So he could not accept and later on what happens? Sati goes in the worship and uh, she dies there. And later on she comes again in the form of Parvati, performs Tapasya and thereafter uh, marries again Shiva and then there is a dialogue between Shiva and Parvati and uh, this Ramacharitamanas is created. So you can see that uh, the justification and the treatment of the story is something unusual and very remarkable in Ramacharitamanasa. So you cannot uh, understand Ramacharitamanasa uh, without understanding all these other texts because he says very clearly that Nana Purana Nigama Gama Sammatam Yat Rama Yane Nigaditam Kochidanyato. So, whatever is available in other many Puranas, whatever is available in Nigamas and Agamas, that is uh, explained, that is written in this Ramayana, and not only that is somewhere from somewhere else also. And for him, uh, if, isn't it a problematic point that in some places Ramayana, Ram, uh, the story of Ram is depicted in a different way and you are depicting it, you are uh, re reading it in a different way. This is a problematic point because you are playing with the facts. You are, uh, you are creating the story and creating the story is not a good thing because you are, uh, uh, you are making the truth disappear and he is very well aware of this point and he says that Ramayana Nana Bhati Ram Avatara Ramayana Satakoti Apara because he is saying that it is actually the play of God so the play of God is different in every kalpa. Every time Ram can appear in a different way and so uh, it doesn't make any sense because if, if in Valmiki Ramayana there is a different story, in Adhyatma Ramayana different story, so it doesn't make any change at all. Because there are different versions and those all are equally valid, equally true in that way he sees it. So uh, Tulsi Rasa's Ram Charitamanas is actually a presentation of Ram as uh, an avatar, incarnation of Lord Vishnu and not only I would say that it is actually incarnation of Brahman who appears here to make all of us uh, to show something, um, to show us a path to follow to get liberated from this world. So this is the uh, way what I wanted to tell you something, uh, however there are so many points, to, but at this moment I am willing to conclude my lecture, my talk here at this moment. Thank you.